Hello everybody, I'm El Bristow, this is Elotopia Gaming. Welcome to another first play episode. This time we're taking a look at Cosmonautica, which is a space sim strategy kind of game from a development studio called Chasing Carrots. Uh, we have been given a free early access copy of this game so that we can take a look at this. I haven't touched it, I haven't played anything, all I've done is set up my screen resolution and settings. I haven't watched any YouTube videos of this and to be honest the the description on Steam doesn't really give a lot away either. It's kind of a what well, the impression that I get it is is it's it's the Sims meets the spatials and some other space sim type things. It it, it looks like it's going to be quite interesting. So we're going to have a look at this and uh, and see what it's like. Um, I understand there is some kind of tutorial system, so that's probably what we're going to look at. And we are going to start game, and we are going to create a new game. And we shall start the prologue. Let N1L introduce you to the world of Cosmonautica, including a quick tutorial on how to play. Nil's tip of the cycle. Shipyards are essential to maintain your vessel. Okay. Uh, oh, hello. You there. Hello. Consider to wake up. If you don't mind, uh, that whatever that says. Open your eyes, breathe slowly, and try to avoid to throw up, please. Not again. I try. Okay, so we've been appointed captain of this ship. Take your time and learn things through the Cosmo Guide. We need to slowly build up crew and ship first. Hire us a pilot and install some basic rooms right now choices are limited as is our money by the way you can check your current mission objective via my node interface okay good to know so yes this is our ship that we have just been appointed captain of and these i presume are rooms that we can build stuff in these look like they are some kind of ladder system this is either an engine room or a storage room or something and this is our cockpit Welcome to the Cosmo Guide, your friendly gameplay information system. This guide provides important details when you need them. Use the options menu to rest, to reset or deactivate this guide. Uh, buttons on the left switch to different sections of a space station, which is the central hub of every planet, and this is your shiny entry ship. Okay, that's that's the end of that information. Right, so. Um, I, I don't really know what we're doing. Um, okay, that's an interesting name for a shipyard. Uh, we have a spectacular view of the home stretch of the orbital hyperdrift racetrack. Better expect long queues at the telescopes arenas, though. Okay, so that's just information about the station that we happen to be docked at. Um, and traits relating to that station. Do we get any hover tips? No, no information about that, okay. Um, this is inside said station. Your progress will be saved whenever you arrive at or leave a station, okay. Um, shipyard, high population, artist guild, infirmary. No data available, okay. Can we close that? Yep, yeah, okay. Um, so I'm guessing that something happens in this window, perhaps not quite yet. Um, this is some kind of shop. A lot of this game is about trading. Um, so I'm, I'm guessing similar to, to, well, quite a few games really of the 80s and 90s where you have to buy things in one station, sell them in another station, similar to the kind of thing that you would do in, um, in in certain other space games that, uh, that are available at the moment. Um, so the idea is buy cheap and sell for more. Um, hopefully, trade commodities here. Prices vary according to the amount in stock and whether the station imports or exports are good. Um, okay, so that's an export and these are imports. Um, Let's not purchase anything yet because we don't know what we're doing. Shipyard, this will be for repairs and things. Purchase maintenance and customize your ship here. Keep in mind that only certain stations have a shipyard. Okay, rooms are 
central elements. Basic installments are available from the start, others have to be researched first. Install rooms that satisfy your crew's needs and enables them to perform various working tasks. An inexperienced crew requires at least a cabin, a toilet, and a snack bay to feel comfortable on your ship. A cabin, a toilet, and a snack bay. Okay, so, um, how much money have we got? 8,000, okay, so we need a cabin. That's, ah, oh, that looks like a padlock, but I don't know that that is saying that it's locked. I don't know, we can buy it. Room not researched yet. Free Wi-Fi, so these are features. Flushmatic. Okay, so we need to buy a cabin. So can we just buy that? And we need to place it somewhere. So let's place it, how about there? Okay, apply. And they need a toilet. This would be a toilet. So we shall buy a toilet. Can we place it there? Yes, we can. So you've got to go through the toilet to get to the cabin. Possibly not the uh, ideal uh, situation aboard a starship. Um, and a, a, ch a change and optimize the position of your installments. For instance, ammunition depots should be close to weapon rooms. Mm, okay. Hot, cold, synthetic or alive. Enjoy a compact calorie bombs to keep cheeks and stomach busy. Um, so we'll buy one of those for snacks. Um, and we'll put that put it there I don't really know what I'm doing so maybe there's better places to put these but there you go um, we have a, a cargo hold of some description apparently already science is awesome unlock new ships rooms and unknown regions of space unlock your life unlock all rings unlocks all rings in research systems improves technological research speed so these are I'm guessing are things that we need to unlock um, they're like extra traits or something like that for the building. Super Stim Gym. Insta Yay Arcade Box. Can't buy any of these yet though. Weapons. I Reload Depot. Feeds your hungry weapons until your opponents are stuffed and gone. Twitch Fire Turret. Okay, so we're probably going to need one of those. Ah, oh, and we can't place it anywhere. Ah, oh, we need to place it there, do we? I see, I see. Okay, so cabin then can go down here. I'll tell you what, we'll put the cabin there. Toilet can go there. Snack thing can go there. That can go there. Okay, apply. And then that one assuming we can afford it can go there apply and that means we've got no money ah was that a clever idea or not does that mean that we can't employ any crew what's this bulletin board okay so these are jobs that we're going to get offered we don't we're not interested in that for the moment we're looking for people here we go yeah we can't afford to hire any people because we just spent all our money on the rooms so, how about we cancel this? Can we, like, can we sell it? There we go, sell room. So we got all our money back for that. Okay, let's sell that one as well for now. Let's hope we won't need that for the moment. Let's hire some staff. Um, medic, scientist, medic, piloting. Okay, so we're going to need a pilot. Oh, okay, I didn't mean to click that. Right, where was that pilot? Pilot, there we go. 304, I don't know, plus 23 a month? Don't know. Hmm, hello there. Um, sharpening his pencil on his teeth. Was raised with a lot of sweets and beets. Love to learn about space trading and love, love parks. Is convinced that fried bacteria are yummy. Well, that will make you easy to feed. Let's hire you. Your crew can consist of up to eight members. Click on a portrait to display the current morale, health, and need levels, like food. So if I do that, I got, I got nothing. There we go. What's this? 
N1L's organization and data environment provides various information about ship and crew. Okay, so uh, he's a pilot. And right, so he has a need for, for sleep, food, and bathroom. Uh, his morale is increasing. His health is staying stationary, I assume that means. Um, among useful information on crew members, you can choose to fire or to promote them here. Okay, fair enough. Um, I really enjoy working here. Good, because you've only just joined us. Assign shift tasks for a crew member, but be sure to provide sufficient leisure time for satisfying their needs. So ideally, if you want things manned at all times, you need more staff. Increase work efficiency by assigning all four shifts to multiple crew members with mutual skills. Yeah. Finances, we'll come back to that, I think. Research. A science lab and skill on board enables you to research different fields here. You can only process one project at a time. Okay, we haven't purchased a... Uh, right, unlock one solar rim after another to gain full access to any planet within a system. You can only research a new sector that is adjacent to an already researched one. Installments and their upgrades are unlockable by researching specific combinations of technologies. Right. Technologies differ in research duration. Low, basic, advanced and high tech. Okay, but we didn't buy a research department thingy, so we're not going to do that. New captain has, has to learn... Why is that over there? I can't read that. Um, a new captain has to learn how things work. The Cosmo Guide and Neil will help you get along. Hire a pilot and install a small cabin, toilet, snack bay, and cargo hold. Right, and cargo hold. Okay. Um, rooms, facilities, cargo hold, buy. So that wasn't the cargo hold. Let's put the cargo hold there. Oh, there we go. So, excellent. I am tempted to express my relief. You do well, my new captain. Yeah, thanks. Still, we have a long way to go. I su I'd suggest we start optimizing our finances. I've seduced the bulletin board's database to assign us an easy delivery mis mission. A local overlord donates a piece of his art collection as stage prop for a movie. Some smuggler guy frozen in carbonite. <laughs> the cargo will be transferred directly onto your ship. Deliver it, deliver it to Hollow Mov Studios in Hello Wake. The reward is exceptional. 10,000 credits. Check my node for mission details. Then select our destination on the solar map and let the journey begin. Check my node for mission details. Okay, so open node. Oh, and that is that. That's where we were. Okay. So estimated difficulty. Is that one skull or is that skull difficulty level? <laughs> uh, requires one cargo space, which we have. We have to take this stage prop to Holomov Studios on Hello Wake, and we will get a sealed container with unknown content. Or we have one of those, I don't know. Um, okay, so we need to... Uh, this is some kind of map, I'm guessing. Let's, do we have to close this? It appears to have frozen on me. I don't know what I'm doing now. Okay, so the game is frozen on me. This doesn't happen often on uh, early access games that I'm looking at. So I'm going to try and rectify this and I shall be back in a moment. Okay, so I kind of had to run through the tutorial again because it didn't save my progress. And this time I've hired a very slightly different pilot and I ha the mission is now for us to go to Svenston instead of Hello mov or whatever it was holomov on hello thingy so uh we're now going to svenston instead um and the uh the pilot that we picked up is hold on uh this guy robert musayev and he has he actually has a special ability which makes him an entertainer i don't really know uh what the the significance of that is but 
there you go that that is what he has so we're going to try again here we go so let's zoom out and we've got to go to Svenston, which is over there and you can see that this plots our course to go around here to get to Svenston. Um, it said the gods of Olympus live on Svenston. Um, so we're going to travel there. It's going to take us 7.2 days or 7.2 months. I don't know. Each planet can have different traits, most of which define imported and exported goods. A few traits can affect the range of available missions and the amount of job applicants. Note that travel times will change depending on the current planetary constellations. Planetary constellations. I think they mean planetary locations. Um, so, slaves and narcotics are illegal on this planet. Doesn't tell me what their traits are. Um, but let's travel. We are going. Ooh. Ah, and this is us, while we are travelling, this is our pilot guy, he's wandering around, he's gone to the... Gone to the pilot's seat, and we are travelling. So there is our ETA, which is good. Um, I'm guessing probably not much for us to do at this point, but perhaps... Oh, we can move the ship around, we can zoom out. The Thunamon. Thunamon, that is what our ship is called apparently, and it's got warp nacelles a bit like from uh, a particular popular science fiction show. Um, can we look at it from the other side? No, we have to look at it from this side, fair enough. Um, so if we do that, does it show us our progress? It does. So we have just left that place, whatever that place was called, Hack. Oh, Hacky Sack. <laughs> we were in Hacky Sack. Um, so, uh, we're heading to Svenston. So, can we... I believe we can... Here we go. Fast forward. How does it feel? Your first time in space as a captain commanding a mission. There's a lot to discover on our ship, so take time to look around. For now, it's important to learn how to deploy your crew and to satisfy their needs. Furthermore, keep an eye on the condition of our ship and rooms. I'll get back to you once we've arrived at our destination. So destination. Um, right, so let's go back to the ship. Let's check that everything is going on as it's supposed to. Yep, time can be accelerated. During space flight, at catapults travels. Oh, during space flights and catapults travels, catapults is like a catapult, but a starport thing, uh, you can't change the time flow. While traveling, your ETA can vary if your pilot gets sick or your pilot, s pilot setup changes. Okay, so pilot is going somewhere else now. He's going to bed. Yes, he's going to have a kip. There we go. He's asleep. Our ETA is still the same because, you know, this is space travel. You don't just stop just because someone's gone to bed. We are still traveling. Um, so let's fast forward time then. Captain woke back up again. So that's day two now. What's this? Oh, this is this is like the universe map. Okay, so let's go back to here. This is us, isn't it? Yep. When a crew member is on fire, uh, well, hold on a second. He's on fire. Oh, I think that means he's doing really really well you know he's on fire not he's burst into flames which is how i f f first interpreted that um so uh, yes our pilot is having a particularly good day so um as opposed to actually being literally on fire um let's fast forward time again so i wonder if that means that we'll actually get there quicker maybe who knows? Day five, 2,492 monies. 
left. Day 6, 2,469. So that's the, uh, the wages of our captain being taken out. Let's go back to normal speed. No, a bit further first. There we go. Let's go back to the ship. Three, two, one. And we are arriving. There we go. Wow, what a heartwarming welcome. You've impressed those Holomov ladies. Don't be ridiculous, Captain. Let's focus. 10,000 credits have been added to our account. Nice. Time to try out other sources of profit, other than doing missions. Trading, that is. The solar map provides plenty of useful information. Get familiar with it. You are a smart captain, hence you should be able to figure out how to trade for profit. I'm pretty confident you can do this. Visit the local merchant and give it a try. Okay, so we've got to try out some trade. So let's go into the shipyard. That's our ship. Hold on, let's go this one. That was the one. The progress will be saved whenever you arrive at or leave a station. So hopefully our progress has just been saved. What's this mean? There's a great big two. Oh, your reward of 10,000 has been transferred. Your objectives have been updated. Okay, so that's our notifications bar. Let's go to the shop. Um, right, so these people will be exporting certain goods and importing certain other goods. Um, I'm guessing things they're exporting will be cheaper. Um, <laughs> energy they're exporting and artificial DNA. They're exporting energy and they have quite a lot of them. So if I do this, my assumption would be that it's going to cost us that and this would be a relatively good price um, for energy. So we're going to buy some energy and then go somewhere else and sell it, I presume. I don't re I don't I still don't know what these traits mean. Maybe oh energy production. There we go. So they have an energy production facility. So I guess if we go to some of the other planets, they might if they also have an energy production planet, they're not going to make us particularly that much money. But if they don't have an energy production planet and they perhaps have something like a shipyard that requires power, um, maybe, maybe, oh look, that's steam, um, seed cloning, mega disco, robot manufacture, right, so we need to, f we need to find someone that is importing energy, energy drinks by the looks of it, yeah. Um, okay, um, what was this one? They're exporting energy, corn. They are not. They're exporting energy too, hmm, okay. Maybe we made a boo-boo there. Oh. Tobacco, beer, energy drinks, tools, iron, seeds, water, cosmetics, water. Let's go back to the shop. Can we sell them back? Um, do we get all our money back? Yeah, we do. That's good because we haven't left. Okay, so... Um, ah, see, they import water too. So what else do they export? Waste, erotic magazines, energy, and artificial DNA. So can we find anyone that imports those? Um, nope. Ah, they import energy. How did I not see that before? 
Okay, so <laughs> let's go back and rebuy that energy. Buy. And then we'll go to here. We'll go back to Hacky Sack, which will take us 5.4 days because they import energy. So we'll travel. And we're back to this again. So fast forward. It would be great to see our little family growing, don't you think? I'm feeling responsible is all. Stop mocking me, will you? We need to debate about your definition of joke someday anyways. Maintenance and science skills are helpful rather sooner than later. Keep that in mind, please. Maintenance and science, fair enough. Science is especially important. Amongst other advantages, it enables us to unlock more rooms and to improve them. Don't forget, promoting your crew members makes them more demanding and new needs require new rooms. Okay, so we're heading back home. We're back home. We're heading back to Hacky Sack. Um, you can actually see the planets in the distance, which is pretty cool. Um, and the, that's actually kind of an accurate representation of the the solar system we're flying in, which is which is interesting. Um, so if I have a look at that. Yeah, it is literally just a zoomed in view of what we are actually doing at the moment. So if we zoom in now, behind us, we should, oops, behind us, we should see, no, okay, I was going to say we should see Hacky Sack approaching, but we don't seem to, oh, ah, there we go, okay, we arrived. So, uh, let's go to the market. And we can now sell the energy for 105. Wow, okay, so we doubled our money on that. Sell that, fantastic. Okay, so that's that's kind of the, the key of the game. It's gonna be uh, looking for what one place exports, what one place imports, and obviously playing the two off against each other. Um, and in the process, we will earn some money and with that money, we can buy new rooms, we can hire new crew. Um, they recommended maintenance and science, cooking, repairing. Right, repairing is gonna be important. Medic, piloting, use scout. Okay, so repairing has a super brain and is a sports ace. We didn't, I didn't see anyone that does science things. No, so uh, piloting, repairing, 2,114 to hire and 41 a day, but is a very high high class staff member, as level three staff member. Let's try and use a scout. We want repairing one or do science one. Post a job offer for 2,600, I see, okay. Skill points left. Oh, so we could find someone else as well. Uh, no, we don't want to though, really. Unless it doesn't cost us any extra. No, it does cost us considerably extra, so let's not do that. Let's post that job offer. He's going to search, find us someone who does level 1 repairing and level 1 sciencing. Okay, they do level 3. That's not what I asked for. I asked for level 1. Um, oh well. Um... Let's, let's just hire them, shall we, for the purposes of... That's piloting. I didn't ask for piloting. Well, how is that a scout result? Um, okay, well, someone down here did repairing, didn't they? You. So let's hire you as well. Okay. And then let's go back to our ship. And... Repair the rooms, clean the rooms. Um, and now we need a science lab for 3,100, we can't afford it. So, we are going to have to, at some point, earn some more money so that we can do that. There's nothing else that we can purchase there. So, what we want to do is either we do some trading or somewhere there was somewhere we could accept some missions here we go bulletin board 
Our science team is researching the coherence between a planet's color and its inhabitants' IQ. Cataport's rare color is particularly interesting, so our team needs a ride to get there ASAP. Uh, it requires four seats. How many seats do we have? I have no idea. Is that perhaps this section here? We can have like eight or something, wasn't it? Um, delivery missions require at least one cargo hold. Right, I didn't read much of that. Um, is this a delivery mission? Reward penalty, only 500 credits. Our brand new fast food branch on Svenston is getting swamped by starved customers. They'd been deliberately fasting before, only to be prepared for the opening. We require as much food as possible. Okay, uh, that one gives 1500 credits. Doesn't require cargo space. Oh, get me a new one. Mm, okay. That requires six cargo spaces. What was this? Uh, ah, so we would need to buy food and take it to Svenston for 500 credits. Uh, as, oh, per unit. Ah, okay, 500 per unit. Let's accept that. Let's find some food. Food costs us 71.66, and it's one of the exports here. So we'll buy six of those for 400, and then we will head back to Svenston, which will only take us 3.7 days this time because it's a direct, a fairly direct route. And we will travel there, and they're going to pay us 500 per unit for that. Here's our new star and extra staff members joining us. Not sure what they're going to do for the moment. Let's come and have a look at everybody. Um, she's in the engine room. She's our repairer, isn't she? And currently doing repairing, I believe? Maybe? No? No? Okay. Well, you're going in the bathroom, okay. So not a lot going on on board the ship at the moment, so let's accelerate time, see if anything happens on our journey to Svenston. Svenston. Not a lot. Not a lot happening here. Oh, bashing my desk. I'm, I'm assuming this is like, I don't know, watch, oh that's the watches, yeah, oh hold on, oh that's on fire, okay, what are you doing, have you got some kind of upgrade available, promote, okay, button text, button text goes here, ah this button has button text, promote, <laughs> Robert Musayev has qualified for a promotion. New salary will be 22 credits a day. A new level also unlocks new skills and specials. Let's do this. Add a new skill point. We can unlock a new skill or we can increase his piloting skill. Let's unlock a new skill. Cleaning. That's handy. Alrighty. So, tasks. Um, increase work efficiency. Blah, 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 blah. Can we, uh, let's make you clean. There, there we go. Doing science, yeah, you can't do doing science. Uh, you can do repair and repair, but you'll do it like that, I think. I don't know. No. We'll have everyone working at the beginning. And, and then we'll have some leisure time and you can clean up after. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Close that. We're nearly arriving. Can't see the planet. Oh, there we are. We have arrived. So, we need to... What's this? Notification. You delivered six units of food. We need more. You will be paid when the mission is over. Need more? Need more? Um, yeah, I can't read the messages when they're over there. So what? They need me to just keep bringing them food? How much do they need? 
I'm guessing there's not going to be any food here. No. Nope. Um, where's my... Where's node? Open node. Missions. Oh, I didn't realise I had... Okay. Get used to planet traits and learn how to make a profit through trading. Right. So I just have to wait for a while. <laughs> um, as much food as possible. As much food as possible. So they just want me to... Oh, I've got 6.3 days left to bring them some more food. Can I get somewhere and back again in that period of time? I can get to... Hacky sack again in 3.4 days, but then it's going to take me like 10 days to get back again. That's 11 days, 6.8 days, 5.7, 4.6, 4.7. So yeah, anywhere I go now, I'm not going to be able to get back in time. So, let's use the opportunity to buy some more energy and take that to Hacky sack with us. Because it was them that... Oh! How about you enter my slipstream? It's an energy efficient move. Plus it kind of turns me on. Having another ship so close by. Rrr. Yellow ship icons indicate traders. Red ones are Cosmob pirates. Intercept them if your ship is fast enough. I see. Okay. So we can actually just meet up with other ships wherever they're heading. Uh, like that one, for example. No, that's a planet. Hang on. I want to click that ship. There we go. So that would take us 4.6 days to get there. And then we could trade with him and head back. So we'd fly like that. He's going kind of all over the place. He's going round and round and then... Oh, I don't know where he's going. Um, so... We could potentially trade with him, but we've bought all the energy now, so let's just go to Hacky Sack, shall we? Okay, so we have arrived in Hacky Sack. Let's stump off this stuff and double our money again, which is great. Um, now, if we were to try and fly back to Svenston, it will take us five days, and our mission has less than that. 2.6 days so there is no point us doing that at this point um, in fact actually let's go back to node to see how long that one's got left on it 2.1 cycles um, so I think I, I think we're gonna say that that's a good place to end this uh, this first play mission uh, first play video um, it uh, Sorry, I was just reading that notification. Uh, yeah, we'll call the uh, we'll call the episode to a close here, and um, I, I I will play a little bit more of this because I, I feel like perhaps there is more to this than meets the eye. This this has been a little bit of a a slow start to the game, so I will probably have another look at this, and uh, and if I discover more depth to this game, look out for another video coming. Uh, a little bit later um, so thank you for watching guys if you've enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe I've been El Bristo you've been watching Elatopia Gaming and this has been Cosmonautica and I will see you next time see you later